For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3 verse 23 to 24. Most will admit that all are sinners, that no one is perfect, but the problem that often arises in sharing this news is that many men do not see it as a great problem that they are sinners, but as our sins, Paul tells us, merit the wages of death. We see that sin is much more serious than most realize. Jeremiah 6 verse 16 says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. You can't tell some people anything, they are obstinate and contrary, and determined to do the opposite of what they are told. You will see this with little children, who push the boundaries of their parents' commands. Teens are notorious for rebelling against their parents' rules simply to be rebellious. In this passage, Jeremiah tells of the same kind of person, a person who is told the right and good way to go, and deliberately chooses the opposite path. The good path promises rest, while the other obviously promises destruction. This scripture, and the subsequent verses illustrate what happens when we refuse to heed the warnings of God, when we fail to walk in the right path, when we fail to listen. Well, the truth is we simply fail, and the price, according to verse 20, is disaster. Devotion topic is, don't be a show-off. Many people do good things. The question here is, why? One summer I worked in the office of a major university, where I recorded the donations that came in on cards with the name of the donor on them. I came across many names of prominent people who were quite familiar to me, but there was a notation on the top of many of those cards that said anonymous, many of these people actually had two cards, one for the public and the other not. The public one was for far less money, they wanted to support the college, but didn't want credit for their generosity. Obviously, people will be rewarded here for a generosity of spirit, they will be known for performing acts of heroism. We know the names of people who have worked to spread the gospel message and those who work tirelessly for justice. This does not take away from their sacrifice, but, there also are people who want to be known for their good acts, and it is these that Jesus warns about. It is one thing for people to come to know the goodness of others, it is another for that person to call attention to what they are doing for their own glory. Do we act because as followers of Christ we are called to do what we do? Or, do we want attention? Let us pray. Lord, may I always do the right thing for the right reasons. Loving your people, and working for justice should not be done for the glory of anyone except you. Amen.